video is going to be a get the look video and as you can tell it is for Shay Mitchell. I was so excited that so many of you guys wanted me to do a get the look video for her because she has some of the best style in my opinion. I follow her on Instagram and I love her outfits so I was so excited that so many of you wanted to see this. This video is going to be a get the look for less video like usual however I did incorporate some of her original outfit pieces that she was wearing um, or actually wearing but most of it is look for less because I think that that's a little bit more helpful for you guys so I really hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started starting off with Shay's first outfit she's wearing a romper from Mara Hoffman a denim shirt from rails shoes from Dr. Scholl's and of course key sunglasses now her outfit in total is very expensive so now I'm gonna show you guys how I got the look for less now to get the look for slightly cheaper, I decided to go for a shorts and tank top version instead of a romper. Mara Hoffman's designs are very unique actually, so it's kind of hard to find a similar romper to hers, but I found this tank top at Forever 21 for super inexpensive, and it has similar colors and design to it, and I just paired it with some white shorts from Nasty Gal to give it that romper look. And then for my denim shirt, I just wore one from Topshop, but any denim shirt will give you the appearance of hers. And then for the shoes, I decided to get the exact Dr. Scholl's shoes just because I thought that they were super comfortable and they looked awesome, but I will have some other ones listed. And then for my sunglasses, I just wore some key Shea Mitchell collaboration sunglasses. For this next look, I think she looks amazing, but her top jeans and her bag alone are too pricey for me, so I'm going to show you guys how to get this very simple, everyday, casual look for a lot cheaper. Sims Distress Denim is a huge trend right now. You can find these jeans pretty much anywhere you go. I even had some in my own closet, so I just wore those, and they are from Denim & Supply. And then for my top, I just wore a simple white flowy tank top from Zara. For my boots, I just wore some simple black boots from Target. Hers are for forever, from Forever 21, so if you want a more similar look, you can keep your eye out for those. And then for my choker, that is from Topshop. And then I just wore my all-time favorite Rebecca Minkoff bag since I already owned it, but any black bag with a gold chain will give you the same look. This next one I can't really call a look for less since I purchased the exact mink pink romper that she has. It is on sale now so that's a bonus, but finding a similar Aztec printed romper to this one was very hard, but I will have a few other cheaper versions listed on Celebspiration, but since I genuinely liked this one I wanted to get it, plus it's super comfortable. So like I said, any Aztec romper will give you a very similar look. I did go for cheaper sunglasses and purchase just some simple round ones from Forever 21. When I saw this outfit on Instagram, I kind of had to do some digging because I didn't know where her exact pieces were from. Um, but I decided that I could definitely get it for cheaper. So instead of going for a short and crop top combo, I decided to go for a white romper just because I think you get more for your money in that sense and you don't have to spend as much. So my white romper is from ASOS. I thought it was really pretty with the lace detailing on the front. A little bit different from hers, but I think it's always fun to add your own spin on get the look videos. And then for my sunglasses, I got these key ones. They aren't her Shea Mitchell ones, but I thought these were pretty cool. And then instead of going for pumps like she did, I wanted to make it more everyday casual, so I found these sandals from Topshop. Since I'd like to think that Shay and I have very similar styles, I actually already own two of the pieces from this outfit, which was posted a while ago. So I figured I would still recreate it, but of course incorporate some cheaper pieces of the outfits like the short and the flannel. So starting off with the boots, those are Stuart Weitzman Highland boots. They are very pricey, so I will have some other over-the-knee boots listed on Celebspiration.com for you guys. 
Um, but those are the ones I'm wearing. And then for my top, that's from For Love and Lemons, just a simple lace crop top. But then for the shorts, I went for a cheaper high-waisted distressed denim short, and I got those from Forever 21, and then a red and black flannel from H&M. This next one I love and I knew no matter what I could recreate it for cheaper since it incorporates very simple pieces and I just think this outfit in general is just perfect for like an everyday casual look but definitely a little bit more put together with the shoes. So starting off with the shoes since mules are kind of coming back now, I found mine from Urban Outfitters that have a similar brown color to hers um, and they're super comfortable. For my boyfriend jeans, those are from American Eagle. They're just some simple distressed dark wash denim jeans. And then for my sweater, that is from Forever 21 and it's just a loose fitting sweater that I tucked in slightly. And that's it. Now for the last outfit, her top and her shorts are both from Lovers and Friends, which is a pricier brand you can find at Revolve Clothing. Her bag is Louis Vuitton and her shoes are Tory Burch, so very expensive overall and I knew for this one I could definitely get it for cheaper. So this is my outfit that I recreated and I definitely think it's my favorite from this entire video. I've already worn it like twice I think since I bought it or put it together. So starting off with my top, that is just a crop top with a deeper V from Urban Outfitters. My shorts are my new favorite uh, high-waisted shorts from Forever 21. My flannel is just from PacSun and then my saddle bag, which is kind of a similar brown color to her Louis Vuitton one, that is from ASOS along with my metallic gold flats. For my accessories, I just went for some gold framed sunglasses from Key instead of her white framed ones just because I had already owned mine. And then just a simple gold bangle from Target. But that's it for my video today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know in the comments below who you want to get the look for next. Also, there's an end screen coming up shortly and you should definitely go check out Shay Mitchell's YouTube channel because she has one, which is awesome. Um, so if you want more of her style and that kind of stuff, head over to that. And yeah, that's it. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!